Hello and welcome to a Crocoblock tutorial titled How to create a listing template for custom taxonomy in Elementor. My name is Andrew. Over the next several minutes I'll create a listing template for displaying terms from a custom taxonomy and demonstrate how to use this template to present the terms in a grid layout on the front end. Additionally, I'll build an archive listing template that will showcase posts associated with a specific term when users click on a particular listing from our selection. To enable this basic dynamic functionality, I have the Jet Engine and Jet Theme Core plugins installed and activated. At this point, allow me to remind you that liking Crocoblog videos and subscribing to this channel will help increase the visibility of our content to other users interested in WordPress. So please consider joining this cause. For this tutorial, I've made a taxonomy for a specific custom post type with three terms. In my case, these terms are categories, because the taxonomy is hierarchical. But they could as well be non-hierarchical taxonomy where terms wouldn't have lower ranked divisions. When we check the taxonomy by clicking on its label in the custom post type section in the dashboard, we'll see which categories are available and the number of posts assigned to each category. We'll also see default meta fields such as name, slug and description and one custom media field I added when setting up the taxonomy. This field is for inserting an image that will help users recognize specific categories. There's also a specific template ready for posts of the specific custom post type which determines which information is displayed with the post listings on the front end and applies certain styling settings to them. Now let's create a listing template that we will use to present the post categories on the page. Head to Jet Engine Listings and click Add New. For the listing source, choose the Terms option and in the next field specify the taxonomy containing these terms. Enter the name for the new listing and select between the Block Builder and Elementor for listing customization. In this tutorial, I'll be using Elementor. After hitting the Create Listing button, we'll enter the Listing Editor. Here I will use the Jet Engine's dynamic widgets to provide a basic information about the category, so it'll be easier for the end users to choose where they need to navigate when viewing a selection of listings. I'm using a dynamic image widget to fetch the preloaded image from that custom media field that each category has. To do that, I simply have to pick the source for the widget's content in the drop-down list by finding the relevant field's name. There are additional customization settings here that we don't have to use for this listing. I will only change the image resolution to medium-large to make sure that if some images I use are originally very large they'll still appear on the page instantly. Additionally, in the style options, I'll set the image height to 200 pixels to ensure uniform image dimensions across all listings. I'm also changing the picture's fitting method to cover, which will trim the sides of the image instead of stretching or squeezing it. Now I'm going to add three dynamic field widgets. For the first one, I'll use the term name as the source and change its HTML tag to H4. And in the style settings I'll choose Center for the widget item alignment. The second dynamic field will use term count as the source so users will know how many posts are in each category. I'll also choose H4 HTML tag here and I'll click the Customize Field Output toggle to enable the macros functionality and provide some additional information about the field's meaning. I'll also align the item to the center. For the final dynamic field, I'm selecting Term Description as the source. I'll leave its HTML tag and alignment settings as they are. However, because the descriptions used in the terms may vary in length, I want to limit the number of characters displayed in the listings for a uniform appearance. So I'll click the Filter Field Output toggle and choose Trim Strings by Characters or Words from the Callback drop-down list. I'll set the limit to 60 characters to make sure that no more than two lines of descriptions are shown. 
Let me wrap up by adding some additional styling options and then we'll proceed to the listing settings by clicking the gear icon at the bottom left corner. In the listing settings section, it's crucial to activate the make listing item clickable toggle. Keep the link source as permalink. Now that we've completed the listing setup, click update and then exit to the dashboard. In the next step, I'll create a new page and set up a listing layout. Let's go to pages, click add new button, then add it with Elementor. After inputting a title, insert a Jet Engine listing grid widget. In the widgets content section, type the title of the term listing we created in the source field. I won't change any default settings here and simply click the update button to save this page. Since we've created new permalink structures, we need to update the permalink settings by going to settings, permalinks and clicking save changes. At this point, if we return to the page with the listing grid and click on one of the listings, we'll see the correct selection of posts from specific categories but without any styling options applied. That's why for the next step, we need to create an archive template for styling posts in each term category. In the dashboard, head to Crocoblock Theme Builder and hit Create New Template. Now let's choose conditions under which the template will be activated. Click Add Conditions, choose Archive Type of Template, pick the taxonomy with the relevant terms, type the category titles and click Create. In the newly created Archive Template, we can change the title and proceed to adding header, body and footer blocks. For the header and footer, you can use previously created custom templates or the ones offered by the Crocoblock theme you're using. Let's click the Add Body button as it's the most important for this demonstration. Then click the Create Template link. I'll choose Elementor as the template editor, assign it a new name and hit the Create and Go to Editor buttons. In the editor window, I will first create a title by using the dynamic field widget. In the widget, I'll choose the term name as the source, change the HTML tag to h1 and format the field output to convey more meaning than just the term title. Next, I'll use the listing grid widget. This time, as a source, I'll choose the post listing mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial and set the column number to 1. Now it's necessary to enable the Use as Archive template toggle. Finally, go to Archive Settings and then Preview Settings and choose the post type that should appear with the current template. Choose Update and reload the page to ensure the posts are displayed correctly. Go to the Crocoblock theme builder once again to add the newly created template to the archive listing. Now we are ready to visit the page where we created the terms listing layout and observe the results. As you can see the various post categories are displayed as separate listings here. Clicking on them will take you to a separate listings grid with all the posts from the selected category styled according to the post settings. This functionality can be applied to many website types, including internet stores, job platforms, portfolios, blogs, etc. It allows building custom listing layouts and connecting them dynamically, offering users easy navigation through your content. And once you become familiar with the basic Jet Engine and Jet Theme Core features, completing all necessary steps becomes a breeze. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and share your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!